Enroll your kids from the ages of 4 to 13. Very vital to instill Christ in the hearts and the minds of our beautiful angels. We need to equip them because the educational system is being infiltrated. An 11-year-old angel came to his mom and said, Mom, am I, a, am I a male or a female? Because that's what they're teaching me at school. You can't say male, female, you're insulting. I get a life. Get a life. You're a minister of education. Get a life. Do you think you came out of a male and a male and a female and a female? Are you sick in the head or are you? Which one? Every human being know they came from a male and a female. How dare you? How dare you? You tell me what to teach my child. Uh, you're a boy, you're a male. You're a girl, you're a female. And you can say that. If you ask any human being, whether they are Christians or not, human beings, put religion aside. If I ask any human being, is the human race as a race, is it sacred or not? Everyone will say, yes, it's sacred. You can't talk about my race. You're insulting me. My race is sacred. How dare you talk about my race? Okay, then how come on one hand you are making the race sacred and you are desacralizing marriage? Where did this race come from? What is the foundation of the race? Isn't it marriage? If there was no marriage, was there going to be a race? No. So how come marriage is desacralized and race is sacred? Where is the fairness in this? Where is it? And everyone knows he came from parents, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. I know how difficult our times. The Holy Bible mentioned about the 21st century that it's going to be a century. No other centuries are like this one. You know, the Lord Jesus spoke about two places where sin had been to the brim. The 21st century collected both and put it together. The time of Noah and Sodom of Gomorrah, both of them are in the 21st century. What was the time of Noah? The Lord Jesus says at the time of Noah, people were marrying and remarrying, divorcing and, and, and hundreds of boyfriends and girlfriends. And Sodom and Gomorrah, same-sex marriage. Both of them are happening in our time. People are swapping partners as if they are buying veggies. And boy with a boy and a girl with a girl, it's the norm of the 21st century. And how dare you, you say otherwise. Temptations are surrounding us from left, right and center. But God is ever prevalent, present. Yesterday he is, today he is, and forever he is. He is the ever-present God. He is with us every moment, every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every year, throughout our life journey on earth. Invoke the Holy Spirit. If you haven't asked the Holy Spirit to come in your life and help you, do it from tonight going forward. Holy Spirit, lead me to the Son of God because he came to teach me the first subject in him we live give me the life of Christ therefore teach me how to be worthy to receive the life of Christ and the worthiness of the life of Christ is I don't live for myself anymore I want Christ to be my entire life and this only the Holy Spirit can do for you not the Son, not the Father, only the Holy Spirit. Please pay attention to what I'm saying. Sodom and Gomorrah, it was not just people were living in sin, because if we speak about sin, everybody is a sinner. And therefore we cannot judge in this, in this regard, because since we are all sinners, then who are we to judge someone else who is like us, a sinner like us? But Sodom and Gomorrah was a further step than sin, which was more so a crime in the, in the presence of the Almighty God because the people of Sodom and Gomorrah did one thing which God cannot accept. They tried to change the identity of the human being. And that's what LGBTQ, RSTU, and 
That's what the LGBT is all about. I'm not here. Who am I to judge? If there is anyone who is a sinner, it is me, Bishop Murray. I am the greatest sinners of all. It's not about sin. If it was about sin, then we cannot say anything because we are all the same sinners. But this kind of a lifestyle in Sodom and Gomorrah, it was to change the human identity. God cannot tolerate this. And God will punish the country that embraces such lifestyle. When a country passes such laws, legalize such laws, they will be punished. I don't care which country that is, whether you are strong, superpower, mighty or small, doesn't matter. God will not tolerate. I can show you every country that legalized such lifestyle again. I'm not judge. I will pray for those who, who lived like Sodom and Gomorrah, the LGBT. Yeah, I'll pray for them. I love them. I'll pray for them. But I will never ever as a church, not an individual, as a church leader, I will never ever accept such lifestyle. You can shred me to pieces. This is nothing personal. Please understand. It is nothing personal. I will pray for the LGBT. I will love the LGBT, but to accept them as it is normal over my dead body, period.